DJ Hi, I'm Vespers. I'm a dance music producer, live performer, and educator. I post free video tutorials on writing and performing computer music using Ableton Live. I post a lot of free videos, so check out my other uploads, and don't forget to subscribe and rate the vids if you like them. Today we're going to be covering how to master a track using Isotopes Ozone, and we'll be working within Ableton Live as our DAW. These will be a series of videos, so make sure you keep an eye out for the other episodes in the playlist. So we've got Ableton loaded up, and in one audio track we have the source file, or the stereo master that we're going to be working on. And this is a 48 kilohertz 24-bit WAV file that I've exported from Ableton. In another audio channel we have a reference track, and this particular track is one that I like the mastering on, and I like the EQing on, and it's a track called Caller by Alex Metric. Let's just quickly have a listen to the tracks we'll be working with. Here's the original. And here's the Alex Metric reference track. So, let's get going with Ozone. We're going to take an instance of Ozone, and we're going to drag it onto our master bus. Now when Ozone boots up, it gives you the opportunity to choose from a series of presets. And in this case, we're going to start with a preset called 4-Band Master Punchy Dynamics. And we're just going to click OK. By default, it'll have several sections activated. First of all, you want to deactivate these. If you're not familiar with Ozone's interface, you have an Input Volume Slider, Output Volume Slider, Master Bypass, Global Amount, and you just press on these red buttons to get to the various sections and you can activate or bypass each section by pressing the active button. Each one also has a mix control controlling the amount of the various sections. If you click on the graph button here you'll see the sequence in which each one of the modules are arranged in ozone. As you can see the first one is EQ. If you want to you can rearrange these. But we're going to start with the EQ. First of all, making it active. Ozone has a very powerful and useful tool built right into it called a matching EQ. What a matching EQ does is it scans a file and copies the EQing pattern of that track so you can apply it to your own. So if you have a source file, a reference track, that you like the sound of, you can basically mimic the EQ curve using Ozone's matching EQ. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click from analog to digital to matching. And we're going to click on the options button and we're going to set our average time to 10 seconds. And what that'll do is it'll change the spectrum analyzer so that it averages the waveform or the EQ curve over a period of time so we can see what it looks like rather than a snapshot of a moment in time we can see it average so we get a good picture of what the frequencies are looking like. We click OK and now we go up into snapshots these snapshot buttons here are all areas where you can load audio files into. And basically how you do it is having Ozone on your master bus, you allow your sequencer to play the file for at least 10 seconds and it'll capture the EQ curve and then you simply press one of these buttons and it'll show up. So first what we're going to do is we're going to play our source file and the source is the track that we want to apply the EQ to. <laughs> As you can see, it's captured the average EQ curve during the time that I've had the track playing. Now we're going to click on Snapshots, and we're going to select one. And we're going to make sure the Source button is checked. And this will tell Ozone that this is the track we want to apply the EQ to. Next we're going to solo the target track and we're going to play this for Ozone. Great. 
So now we've captured the EQ of our target track now, the track that we want it to look like. So we're going to click on another snapshot and select target. As you can see, we have the two EQ curves overlaid above each other, and we're, we're pretty close, but we're not bang on. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go back to snapshots, and you see two sliders here, the matching amount slider and smoothing. Matching amount controls the amount that your EQ curve being applied in ozone will match that of the target track. So if we put it to 100%, we get it so that it's going to create the virtually the exact EQ curve of the target track. Smoothing will smooth out jagged edges in the EQ curve. So if we put smoothing, for example, to zero, you can see it's created a very jagged curve because it's trying to force our source track to mimic the target track exactly, which is obviously not something that we want. Ozone recommends about 50% for each. And so that's where I'm going to leave it. The red line is the EQ, EQ curve that's been applied in the paragraphic equalizer. And we'll be able to see the resulting EQ curve when we play the track. And if you want, you can make some adjustments with each one of the points here. In this case, I'm just going to leave them as is because I like the way the EQ is sounding. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me.